Hello and welcome to Money Control. I'm Sanford Masters and you're watching Editor's Take. Now, the Union Cabinet has approved some major changes to the bankruptcy law to make resolutions easier. To give us more details about this, we have Ravi Krishnan here with us. Ravi, hi. Hi. So, what are the key amendments then? Well, there are a set of around seven amendments. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important one is that the government has set a 330-day deadline, all-inclusive deadline, okay. for completion of a resolution case. If this doesn't happen, on the 331st day, mm -hmm. a distress asset automatically goes into liquidation. Okay. The Committee of Creditors, uh, you know, it has got far-reaching powers. Mm -hmm. For one, they can uh, send the asset to liquidation at any time, uh, you know, after, the for after their formation. Sure. Uh, the committee of creditors now gets powers to decide on the distribution of the proceeds mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know from the resolution and also uh, liquidation there is a clear waterfall uh -huh. apart from that uh, the government has said that the resolution plan once it is approved it will be binding on the government okay. so essentially you know uh, organizations like the sebi or, or the income tax department or the enforcement directorate they can't go and mount challenges to this resolution plan and you know increase the time period for resolution yeah, sure. And then there are also one or two other rules like, you know, uh, tweaking mergers and acquisition rules, uh -huh. which will be part of this whole uh, distress asset plan resolution package. Okay. So what is the purpose behind this then? So essentially they want to ensure that the I IBC meets its objective of having a time bound resolution. Uh -huh. 270 days is the outer limit as of now. So and what we have seen is that a lot of cases are extended beyond the 270 day limit. Sure. SR has been dragging, SR steel has been dragging on for close to two years now. Mm -hmm. In fact, one in three cases of all that have been admitted so far and are pending uh -huh. for resolution, uh -huh. they have been wending their way through the courts for more than 270 days. Okay. So the government hopes that, you know, with these set of uh, uh, amendments, mm -hmm. uh, you know, quick and timely resolution takes place. Note that the government has also been taking other measures like, for example, uh, you know, inducting more judges in the NCLT, improving mm -hmm. the NCLT infrastructure, yeah. etc. Okay, so is this going to work then? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh -huh. See, the IBC is a fledgling law. I mean, this is the third set of amendments we have seen in three years now. The first two have had unintended consequences, mm -hmm. so which have led to delays. This one, hopefully, you know, things should sort out. Uh, but, but yes, I mean, it's too early to pass judgment okay. because remember that the Supreme Court is yet to hear the uh, NCLAT judgment, uh, the appeal against the NCLAT judgment on SR Steel, mm -hmm. which has led to a lot of upset bankers these uh -huh. days who wanted to challenge it and so uh -huh. on one of the reasons why the government came out with this set of amendments. So we'll have to wait and watch. Okay, well, thanks a lot for that, Ravi. Well, that's a wrap on this edition of Editor's Take. For more news, views and updates, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com. Thanks for watching.